first, this film will show you how to perform CPR and use an AED in real time. Afterwards, it will show you the techniques again with an explanation of each skill. Are you alright? Help! Can somebody help me please? How can I help you? Call for an ambulance and bring me an AED. Here's an AED. Apply pads to patient's bare chest. Plug in pads connector next to flashing light. Plug in pads connector next to flashing light. Plug in pads connector next to flashing light. Analyzing heart rhythm. Do not touch the patient. Staying clear. Shock advised. Charging. Stay clear of patient. Staying clear. Deliver shock now. Staying clear. Press the orange button now. Shock delivered. Begin CPR. Analyzing heart rhythm. Do not touch the patient. Stand clear. No shock advised. Begin CPR.
Now that you have seen a demonstration of how to perform CPR and use an AED, we will go through the actions again, but this time I will explain what you should do. First, look for danger. If there is no danger to you, the victim or bystanders, kneel beside the victim. Place the victim on his back, on a firm surface. Gently shake the victim's shoulders and ask, Are you alright? If the victim does not respond, shout for help. Open the airway by gently tilting the head and lifting the chin with two fingers. While holding the airway open, listen, look and feel for breathing for up to 10 seconds. If the victim is not breathing or not breathing normally, ask a bystander to call the emergency number for an ambulance and to bring an AED immediately when available. If no bystander is available, make the call yourself. Use your mobile phone if possible. Then place one hand in the centre of the chest. Put your other hand on top and interlock your fingers. Press the chest down 5 to 6 centimetres whilst keeping your arms straight. Press 30 times at a rate of 100 to 120 a minute, up to twice a second. After 30 compressions, give two rescue breaths. To do this, use the fingers of the hand performing the head tilt to pinch his nose closed. Take a normal breath yourself and place your mouth over the mouth of the victim. Breathe out for about one second until the victim's chest rises as if taking a normal breath. Allow the air to come out, then give a second breath. Continue delivering 30 chest compressions and two rescue breaths until professional help takes over or the AED arrives. When the AED arrives, immediately switch it on and follow the voice prompts. Apply pads to patient's bare chest. Remove the victim's clothes to expose their bare chest. Remove the pads from the package, looking carefully at the pictures shown on each pad. Peel off the first pad and place exactly as shown in the picture on the pad. Peel off the second pad and place exactly as shown in the picture on the pad. Plug in pads connector next to flashing light. If needed, connect the pads connector to the AED. Analyzing heart rhythm. Do not touch the patient. Stand clear. When prompted by the AED, Look to see that everyone is clear and call clear Stand Clear. Stand clear. When prompted by the AED, press the shock button. Deliver shock now. Stand clear. Press the orange button now. Shock delivered. Begin CPR. Start CPR again as soon as prompted by the AED. When prompted by the AED, 
stop CPR and look to see that everyone is clear and call Stand Clear. Analyzing heart rhythm. Do not touch the patient. Stand Clear. No shock advised. If needed, begin CPR. If the AED prompts, no shock advised, start CPR again as soon as prompted by the AED. Continuing until prompted by the AED. If circumstances allow for a second person to assist, then the skills should be split between the two rescuers. The first person should continue CPR until prompted to stop. Go on, I'll work around you. The second person should operate the AED following the voice prompts given. Apply pads to patient's bare chest. Plug in pads connector next to flashing light. Plug in pads connector next to flashing light. Analyzing heart Stand rhythm. Clear. Do not touch the patient. Shock advised. Charging. Stay clear of patient. Deliver shock now. Press the orange button now. Stand clear. Shock delivered. Go on. Begin CPR. The second person should direct the first person on when to stop and restart CPR. The second person should take over delivering CPR after two minutes to prevent fatigue. Both rescuers exchange roles every two minutes.